Hey guys, my name's Steph. I'm Botanist School. Today we are finally back. back I, I call this stream a stream, a show, a th I, I can't speak today. It's a stream of consciousness, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> There's just. Uh, but, but. <laughs> I, I don't have words today. It's just, this is gonna suck for you guys and for us. Well, good news, Steph. This game has words written on it that you can just read from. Oh, thank Christ. That's gonna be the best thing. <laughs> I don't have the words today, so I can just, I can just steal. Who's the writer of this, of this game again? Uh, the main creator is uh, Shu Takumi, I think. Um, obviously, more people went into developing and writing and all that jazz, but... I'm just gonna steal Shu Takumi's words then. And yes, we got 10 minutes on the clock for you, Mitchell. Let's go. How you doing today, buddy? All right, let's get going. This is the trial part, and I'm very excited. Because whenever it's trial, I'm always excited. Part four, one trial. All right. I wonder if this is the last part of the trial, or if there's more. Um, Nick? Yeah? Do you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18, just like me? Yeah, that's, that's absolutely terrifying. It's kind of hot! <laughs> Maya, do you have a crutch on her? Oh, that's you went to talk, Nick. <laughs> I'm doing really good, Mitchell. How are you? Uh, yeah, hot. Okay, why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. <laughs> I mean, she's been in Germany all this time by herself. She, and she's so grown up. And also, she could throw me over her shoulder like a bag of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. Then you look at me, and well... I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Again! Again. <laughs> um, I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Good morning. The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Barley. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. Oh, that doesn't sound good at all. Oh, that doesn't sound good at all. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Pearl. Hey, Pearls? Yes, Mr. Nick? Do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today too? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. Really? Not this again! Yeah, she she likes the prosecutor actually this time, Pearls. She loves the prosecutor. Please keep this just for us, Pearls. Um, alright. I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. I'm gonna hate this. See you later then. I'll leave you two to your alone time in court. For <laughs> murder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Nick. This way Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? What's going on? We're gonna blame your aunt for the murder. No big deal. You know. It has to be a phase somewhere, right? Like, uh, uh, it, it, you, can't, you can't accuse a, a, a fae for murder four times and there not actually be a fae who hasn't committed murder. <laughs> Dang, she transformed. Wait. Is Pearls better at this than Maya? <laughs> little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this eight-year-old kid is better than my- Jesus Christ. Court yeah. is- Alright, I set up what a voice act today, right? <clears throat> Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Faye. The defense is ready, your honor. 
Let's start already. And I'm pretty sure if I did voice act, Katie would kick my ass. <laughs> yeah, I would. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to today's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you <laughs> foolish fool wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. <laughs> the famous one is me. I'm the prodigy... Prodigy, who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. You're also the prodigy that messed up on live TV, baby. Let's go! Dab on the haters. <laughs> Naturally, the world's eyes are on you as I conduct my first trial in this country. Oh, uh -huh. that's nice, Miss Von Karma. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss <laughs> Faye. <laughs> Oh, it's true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. <laughs> now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. Alright, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of the arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. Oh, dang, all right. What? But, Ms. Von Karma, how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Then what is the meaning of this? All I say is that Maya Fey, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Fay, to the stand. Just as I suspected, Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia, she seems really torn by this. Witness, name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I am a spirit medium, in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean in a manner of speaking? Ah! I don't think anyone really can. <laughs> Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. Spirit severing? A technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world, that is. Hey Hayden, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. Did you lose your account again, my dude? <laughs> Welcome back in, Hayden. Yes, that is. Ah! You, be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, yeah, that is correct. But what in the world could have. Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. Morgan, you sound so sketchy. This is why. What the heck, Morgan? Ah. Oh. Welcome on in, Hayden. Hope you're having a great day. We're back with Ace Attorney, and my friend Katie's here to help do all the voice acting for the women, and she's great at it. Hello, oh. thank you. I try my best. <laughs> what? And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fay, while in a possessed state, managed to escape the channeling chamber. That's big hairdo, oh my god. <laughs> order, order, order. Miss Faye, please testify to the court what happened during that time. Why her hair is so big, it's full of secrets. <laughs> Your honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. 
Don't you mean up the auntie? Phoenix, please. My sister's accused of murder. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back on then, Hayden. Hopefully you can, uh... Hopefully you can enjoy your time here with the new gun and everything. <laughs> After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Why have you hidden this until now? <laughs> I... I did not want to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities when they arise. That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Why is she making a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Alright, let's do this. I only have half health, what? Rip. Save this real quick. I believe you've done this. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah, isn't it because you'd like super messed up on the Magatama or something? I don't know. After we heard the gunshots, those two bro Okay, let's press this. Just now, you said those two. Who were those two people you were referring to? I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Uh, what is not a foreigner, despite how she talks? Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply could not understand her atrocious English, not to mention she looked awful. With that hairdo, you're going to rag on a lot of here? Okay. I already see people in the heartland gearing up for a riot. In any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. Jesus. Oh, uh, thanks. What'd you do after that, Miss Faye? I re Oh yeah. Was it necessary to have- I forgot I didn't have to read that. Yeah, because we, we already read it once, so I, yeah. I read it ten times, right? Was it really necessary to have two people do something as simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes, that's a very good point. At that time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another. Another what, madam? Oh. It's nothing. No need to concern yourself. No, 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 That's not how this goes. I want to hear the end of that sentence. Question further. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of the room, wasn't there? You must testify. Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. <laughs> The lives of both the good sir and that camera woman made in danger is what I thought to myself. I'm calling bull on that. <laughs> oh, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one for us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my aunt for you. We're satisfied now, Mr. Wright. Miss Faye, please continue. Dang, she did catch us there, honestly. She got me there. I, I, I just immediately pressed go for it. She knew I was going to do that. In the next case, I, I 
forget if it's a meme or real, but I think you might get penalized for pressing a certain witness because they're so annoying. Because the witness like, is the so judge, annoying? Yeah, the judge is like, I can't believe we had to listen to that penalty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm hoping I, I you know what? I'm gonna I, I don't remember if that's legitimate, if that's a meme or if that actually happened, but I'm I'll tell you this, I'm gonna find out. <laughs> oh god. During our investigation you say that you struck the defendant on the head. And this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by the statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. But why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this, however. The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya? Question further. So, you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the renegade Mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? What, pray tell, did she? No! Oh. This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what was what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. Uh, yes, very well. <sighs> Why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? Now, witness, continue with what happened. Oh, beans. Oh, beans. Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit such a thing. However, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. There's no way she could have escaped you so easily. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically Maya Fey. Ah. Hmm, growing old such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. <laughs> Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had hold. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I could have. However, I do appreciate the fact that it's like like nurses are strong as heck. Sometimes they gotta like tackle like unruly patients. Nurses could do a lot of stuff. You fainted. I became dizzy and then collapsed on the floor. How long were you unconscious? I, I'm not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps. Hmm. And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere at that time. Happy witness, elaborate on that point for us. Oh, beans. I didn't do it. Now we should try and get more information out of her. Oh, right, right, right. After we get more information from her, we may be able to use it later to our advantage. I, I skipped to the last one, which I bet was, I bet that was it. Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yeah. Great, well now what? So while you were unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true, then how can you know for sure the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this. But the key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? It means she has another witness up her sleeve. That's what. It looks like Miss Moncarma is ready to move on to her next witness. That's enough. From what I can tell, there's nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Fey did leave the chamber. Hmm, I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now, let's take the next logis logical step and ask. Where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes, that should be- oh, ah! Be quiet, you. 
have that. What the escapee had done was she had gone to speak with a certain person. Oh. She went to speak with someone? Who, who was it? <clears throat> Prosecution calls Miss Eeny Meeny, who was sleeping at the side room at the oh, time. Oh, no. Eeny Meeny? Or maybe it's Eeny Miny, I don't know. Yeah. Either Eeny Meeny or Eeny Miny. Or Mo. Either way, the pun holds. Yeah. I think you can see where this is headed. Witness. Name and occupation. Um, okay. So, my name is, like, Mini Mini. I'm, like, researching, like, parapsychology stuff at the um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's, like, I guess, most people call it occult stuff. Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what that means. And I suggest you go home and research it yourself. <laughs> yes, sir. Now then, Miss Meany. After the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, Maya Fay. Is this correct? Um, well, hmm, like, I guess. If that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. That is all right, isn't it, Your Honor? Yes, sir. For love of all things good, Your Honor, have some spine. For my sake. Okay, so Morgan was... Morgan might actually just be complicit, and Miney... Or Morgan might just be a victim of circumstance, and Miney might be the actual murderer. Like, when the channeling started, I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. <laughs> I, like, hadn't seen her in, like, so long. I was so happy, like, in, like, a sad way. My sister, she, like, told me something, like, totally terrible. Now, hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person that entered your room was your sister. Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Fey? Really, now, your honor. Maya Fey was still in the middle of channeling that at that time. Are you saying it was the spirit? Are you saying that the spirit was the spirit of the witness's sister? Yes. Mimi Miney. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, well, this? Witness. <laughs> like, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really <laughs> have to? Of course. Miss Mamie, please. My sister, like, this is what she said to me. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Eeny? Revenge? Are you sure that's what she said? Yes. There. Are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit would go so far as to use a medium to get revenge. It is a bit hard to swallow. 
However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. The end. Uh, I can't wait to end her whole career right now. What do you think, Mr. Wright? It really seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This testimony just now was all made up, was the one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia, what do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. But even the most well spun lies can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Your Honor, there is room for doubt, so the defense will cross-examine this witness. We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the truth behind the murder. Yet again, the <laughs> foolish fool spouts more foolishly foolish drabble. I wonder if he'll make this one more entertaining than the last. Oh, I was going to say foolish than the last. <laughs> So, all right, I, I gotta know. I, I know it's a meme of, of her saying foolish all the time. On a scale of one to ten, how often does she say foolish? I mean, the rate she's going now is like pretty steady. Yeah. Uh, I, I think, I'm trying to think of like the ratio. She might say it, like, a little bit less in the future. Okay. Like, in the far future, but okay. it is, like, her favorite word. <laughs> it, it's her placeholder. Like, when we say like, it, she says foolish. So, fun fact. Yeah? That's how I write her. <laughs> <laughs> you it's when she's mad, instead of stuttering, she just peppers out more fools. <laughs> Listen, that makes sense. That makes sense. I, I, I don't blame you. Oh, that's funny. Was that because of your um, sesame allergy, was it? Like, that's right. I like, think there were sesame seeds, like, in the lunch they served that day. Oh my. I had this, like, premonition that it was going to totally be a seedy day. Okay, you know what? I think we're gonna do a little test. Every time Eni says like, we'll replace it with foolish and see if it sounds like Francesca. Oh, Francesca. Uh, listen, uh, Eni says like way more than Francesca says foolish. <laughs> yes, indeed. See, that's one whole sentence Francesca spoke, and it didn't have fool in it. And like Mimi, who is hard pressed to have a sentence without the word like in it. Fair enough. I'm the one here who missed the boat here. Anyway, you were taking a nap today. It happened while you were sleeping. Yeah, it's, good one. it's like three likes in that sentence. Do you know the time? Um, uh, like maybe a little before 11 a.m. Something like that, I think. 11 a.m.? Yeah, like my stomach is totally ready for like food. Uh, no, I think you misunderstood me. I'm not asking what time it is now. I meant what time was it when someone came into your room? By the way, actually, Phoenix, you worded that so badly, I thought you meant what time it was now, too, actually. <laughs> oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why'd you stop my sentence? Did I? So, like... What was it I was talking about again? Oh <laughs> my god, no! Ugh, never mind. Witness. About this person who entered the side room. Are you absolutely sure? I guess. <laughs> oh my god, you guess? Was there or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all, Mr. Smith. 
First off, my name is not Mr. Smith. Second, I'm an only child. Hmm, but more than that, she managed to mess up the question with her answer. I'm just filing away. I don't- I didn't remember if it was ever stated explicitly anywhere that Phoenix was an only child. So oh. I'm like filing that away. <laughs> for, for information and for the future? For the future. For the future. Well, Mr. Wright, the, the defense rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. One might even say it was foolish. <laughs> now then, witness. How did you feel when you saw Miss Me- Me Miney? I'm not sure to say the same thing like I, I thought you meant a foolish rest of your time. You were happy in a sad way. Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react with surprise at seeing a dead loved one alive again? Um, but like, maybe if I was like, someone who didn't know about, like, the occult. <laughs> but I like, know all about the Karine channeling technique. The point is, the, the point here is the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like, what she said. Hmm, should I drop this line of questioning? Question further. So you really didn't think anything strange of the whole encounter? No. <laughs> like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like... Think anything was strange. I'm gonna say that was the first sentence I think we got from her that didn't have the word like in it. It was just no. <laughs> yeah, which is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> but. Ah! Don't keep badgering her. You know, the phrase objection could. Could, could you try using that once in a while? Mr. Wright, this question of what she would this felt when she saw her sister. Is it really important? <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> it's very important. Although I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. But I've got to bluff for now and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. Alright, Mr. Wright. Miss Mimi, please amend your testimony. Like, okay. I'm like, totally cool with that. I wasn't like, scared at all. And like, her costume looked like, looked totally like normal. Whoa, 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 what? I'm coming back to that later, because her costume should be covered in blood by now. No, no, no. There. Fucking, a fucking lie right there. A big, fat lie right here. It is, you guys see this right here. A big lie. This is Seth a- Seth has been waiting for a contradiction all this time. He's I have... like, it's a trial section, I'm ready. I have been waiting to call someone out of their bullshit. Okay, that was it. All right, I, I am presenting. Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna hold it here real quick. Hold on. So there's nothing odd about your sister's appearance? Like, yeah. Nothing was, like, weird. Hmm. That's impossible. Hmm. Is everything... like, is everything okay? Can I, like, go on? Okay. All right. I don't know what the pro. I know I have to present here, right? The problem is I don't know. I don't know what to present. Cause there's so much I could. Oh wait, there's just the uniform. Objection! Yeah, that was it. Okay, I don't know if I had to present the picture or the uniform or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That was a very well spun lie, Miss Eni. What are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. Feeling my lines now, are we, Phoenix? Oh, sue me. <laughs> Miss Mimi, may I remind- She could, she has the credentials. 
<laughs> now that ghosts are now accepted in the legal system. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Meanie, may I remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah. And? But, I don't think that that's what you were taught thinking at all. Take a look at this picture. This is a picture of the sister you met. I would think that even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. The blood spray. Miss Mimi, why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If, you're if you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noted that right off the bat. Um... Hmm, that, that beret must taste delicious. Order, order, Miss Meanie, what is the meaning for this? Miss Meanie? I'm thinking, don't interrupt me. Um, that- Oh! And what are you stammering about, your honor? Uh, uh, well, I, uh, uh... That witness. Her personality did a w complete 180 there. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. First of all, calm yourself, witness. Like, I'm sorry. I, like, didn't mean to snap. <laughs> now, hurry up with the testimony. If you please. Ugh, the judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he's gonna be. Like, the side room was, like, kind of dark, you know? It opens up to the outside! So, like, the costume is, like, purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. And I, like, persuaded my sister it wasn't, like, right to do something like that. What? And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. What? Hmm, yes, now I see. And you have given us a clear reason why you didn't notice the blood. If you took her to the channeling cha- oh, okay. You think? Like, thanks, Scramps. Are you satisfied, Mr. No! Alright, I guess not. <laughs> Very well, <laughs> you may continue the question. <laughs> I love that they didn't dignify that with a response. It was just like, Your Honor, what do you think? Your Honor, please. Context clues. Really, because I thought it was pretty bright inside that room. Don't push your subjective opinions onto this court. It's not subjective! Like, that's right. Uh, excuse me, but how is my statement any more subjective than Miss Miney's? You are such a hopeless cause. Witness, you may feel free to ignore this trite little man. Objection! Hey Tim, how you doing? <laughs> the trite little man is such a funny insult. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Like, okay. How are you doing tonight, Tim? Ugh, oh, can't breathe. Let me out of here. I'm gonna... You... I didn't see the blood. Like, yeah. But, she must have had the gun with her at the time as well. That's, um... Are you gonna tell me next that you didn't notice the gun either? I like totally didn't. All I was looking at was like her face. Hmm. Continue. My pleasure, Tim. Congratulations on winning the uh tournament again. Your your team did fantastic. And what was your sister, Miss Mimi Miney, like at that time? Well, she was, like, totally flipped out, because she just shot M Dr. Gray. Mr. Dr. Professor Gray. Mr. Professor Dr. Gray. <laughs> but I think, like, she knew. She, like, said she did something really bad. And, like, she said she wanted to go with me to, like, apologize to Miss Morgan. Did any spirit really say all that to you? 
Like, yeah. What's your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so. I guess maybe, like, taking her revenge on Dr. Gray, like, made her feel a lot better. I'd like to feel a lot better too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The sooner the better. Are you threatening me? <laughs> she says with her whip at the ready. And, and like... Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? Let me ask you one more thing, Miss My My Miney. Like, sure. Was well, there anything you found strange, unusual, just out of place? Something out of place? Huh? Like, what do you mean? Uh, when? Hmm, when you... I have to go through all these, aren't I? I'm not saying. I have one that I'd choose, but... You can save before you choose to if you want to. Be good, I don't know if you'll be penalized. That's a good point. That's a good point. I can save. This is saving the game. Alright, I'm gonna say going to the crime scene because we're seeing whether or not she dropped the key. Talk about when you're going to the channeling's chamber, of course. Um, like, no. Nothing strange. She answered rather quickly. Now... Think harder. I know you can remember something. I, like, totally can't. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this court. Hmm. You think, Mr. Wright, that whether or not there was something odd in the way of the challenge chamber is all that important. I think it's very important because that's where the key would have been lost because Pearls would have had to have picked it up by then. I ask because it's very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. <laughs> very well. Miss Miney, if you will, please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. I like, didn't see anyone on the way to like, the channeling chamber. Exactly. Pearls was there. That being said, do I have to do the other ones too? Yeah, I'm just gonna skip to the part where I choose. Nope! Oh god, alright. Try to remember that time. Oh, like, I remember. I remember, like, I totally didn't see anyone on the way. <laughs> hmm, I guess this really isn't that end. Something you finally pull out of a witness is never a dead end, Phoenix. It's no good, I can't find anything wrong. Phoenix, the judge believes this testimony. If you don't find some sort of hitch in her statement... You're on the trial, I know. We have to give it another shot. Doesn't matter how many times we listen, we can't give up. Do I present Pearl? Let's save and present Pearl. Do you remember seeing this woman right next to me? No. Okay, that's fair. Uh <laughs> well, I mean... Where's Pearl? Oh, there she is. <sighs> Let's go! Music change! Let's go! Yo! Don't yell too loud. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. I know you're excited, but your poor throat. Yep. <laughs> Got some water, too. Good, drink the water. You say you didn't see anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. However, that's impossible. Like, what do you mean? I have to introduce someone to you. 
This is Morgan Fay's daughter, Pearl Fay. Interesting. You have a semi-intelligent look on your face. <laughs> so, what about this child? It just so happens at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center of the garden. The garden? Yup. Which means anyone walking would have seen her, through the area would have seen her. So, Miss Miney, what do you have to say to that? Oh my god, <laughs> that was terrifying. As the court can see, she's a bit of an airhead. Also, she was leading her sister at that time. Do you honestly think she would have noticed a simple child playing? Preposterous. It's not preposterous, and I can prove it. What sort of foolish... There is no way someone walking along the winding way could have not taken notice of Pearl. Because she broke the I am vase. <laughs> Not the uh, not the Ami vase. This urn is my proof. An old cracked clay pot. What is that going to prove? Do you know why it's cracked? It's because Pearl broke it. That's why. She broke the urn. Yo. Why? Why do I feel like you're about to ruin my beautiful day? This urn was broken around the time the channeling started. And Pearl was the one who put it back together while sitting right in the middle of the winding way. What? <laughs> Miss Miney. Pearl was there in the winding way at the time. She was hard at work putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I'd have to declare you legally blind! Uh. I think I've sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Miney. You are a masterful liar! Uh. Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say. The one who needs to watch what she says is the witness! So, Miss Miney, tell us the truth! About what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the murder, of course. The witness just testified about that. Th that's right. I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Can I really believe her? Was she really sleeping in the side room? Yeah, I guess so! Why not? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Your lies end here. What do you... The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible because there is clearly a contradiction here. A contradiction? What's a contradiction? Help me, Mia! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, I... Uh, I want to save it just to choose that real quick. I want to save it just to choose that real quick. I want to see what she says. Because I think it's in the evidence. I think I think it's that box. The box has a hole in it, and so does the actual tapestry, and the box is behind the tapestry or something, if I remember correctly. But let me see Let me see what's up with Mia real quick. Hmm, I may have overreached on this one. <laughs> is there really a contradiction somewhere? Don't worry, you're on the right path, Phoenix. Might be a little hard for you to see the contradiction, but it's there. So, just this once, do you want me to help you out? <sighs> yes, please help me. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious, I've never seen this. I, I wanna I see- know. I wanna see it, but I also like- But, alright. I wanna see this, but I'm putting in my official guess here as she was in the box behind the curtain, right? There was a hole there. I don't think it was necessarily a gunshot hole, I think she was watching through it the entire time and stashed herself in there. Cause the box wasn't at the actual, um, room at that time. Because we, when we went to the room the first time, there was no box there, but the room, but it was then put later back in there. Yes, please help me. I need your help right now. Hold on, first calm down, Phoenix. Good. That girl, she sleep, she slipped up with her words. Oh, her words. If she really was in the side room the entire time, 
then she just testified about something she shouldn't have had any knowledge of. What's that? The rest is for you to figure out on your own. Uh, okay, time to add another bluff on the pile. Luna says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible, because there is clearly a contradiction here. Contradiction? Where's the contradiction? Yeah. Okay, so Mia Mia just said it's in her words. I was wrong. I love the help me Mia option. It is really funny. Early in your testimony, Miss Miney, you made the following statement. And like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? Hmm. Okay. It's true that both at the time of myself and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. So, like, what does that have to do with anything? It's very simple. Miss Mighty, how did you know that fact? How? I can see that Miss Faye was the only person in the channeling chamber. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. Which means, Miss Miney, you did in fact go to the channeling chamber. But you didn't go there by by way of the winding way. Ah! <laughs> but look at the manor guide map. If one were to go between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have to use the winding way. Yes, that's right, Your Honor. Which is why... Which is why I asked this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um... Uh... Miss Mighty, please answer the question. Don't ask a question off a baseless assumption, if you please. <laughs> well, I suppose since you've put it out on the table, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You might as well answer the question for us. <laughs> Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah. The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was Eeny Miney. Hold on, don't forget Morgan. <laughs> now is the time to prove it. Now, nah, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? She was in the channeling chamber. Are you kidding me? I am still with the thing that she was in the uh, box. She was in fate. She was uh, in the meditation room. Yeah, she was hanging out with us. <laughs> Miss Miney was here, of course. What? That's, that's the channeling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? Yes. That's where the criminal typically is, Von Karma. That's right! <laughs> Miss Money was at the scene of the crime! Because <laughs> she's a criminal. Order, order, order. That's- that's the way- ah! Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the- ch were in the chamber when the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. Miss Eeny Money was hiding at the scene of the crime. I, I was hiding. Where? Like, where was I hiding? I'm gonna hate this because I always mix this up a little bit here. I'm gonna put it here. Here, of course. Behind the folding screen. Oh! Don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that folding screen. See? You stupid jerk. Quit being so quick to pin it on me, slime ball. Now, now, Miss Miney. One thing as you shouldn't be saying. Shut it, Gramps. <laughs> as if you know exactly how old I am. I'm sorry. Looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. What is the side behind the bullets with the help of this? See, I, I knew it. I knew it. There's a hole that looks like a bullet hole about eight inches off the ground. There we go. That's it. Miss Miney. 
How were you able to hide yourself at this at the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside a box! Ah! What's that tiny little box? No person could fit in that. Sorry, but uh your theory's already been disproved. Lana disproved you when she was hiding from me in it. Um That clothing box is in the side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. That's right, I was sleeping there, so I should know. That clothing box there in the side room the whole time was in the side room the whole time. Hmm, Mr. Wright. Do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the time of the crime? I know I didn't see it there, but I don't know if that counts as evidence. I'm gonna save it real quick, just in case. Cause like, I know I didn't see it there, but I don't know what the evidence is, so I'm gonna have to re -go, go for the evidence, it's been a while. And I present the piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Wait a moment. No, hold on. There's a hole that looks below about eight inches off the ground. About eight inches off the ground. Yep. All right. Take a look at this clothing box. You're so stupid. As if there's any sort of evidence in that old thing. This. What on earth? Ah! I don't have time for you to sit there su surprised. Hurry up and say it already. This wicker is exquisite. I love it. <laughs> the, there's a hole about eight inches off the ground. Hmm. A whole eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? A folding screen. It had a hole at the same height. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen, which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen and then into the box. Mm. Miss Miney, you were hiding behind the folding screen, waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. Ah! Order, order. So, what you're saying... Then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo... is Miss Eeny Miney? That's exactly what I'm saying! Miss Eeny Miney, you were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Fey. To masquerade as Maya Fey? She had a plan from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray, pin the blame on my clients. No. Stop! I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness. Then take a seat, because we're about to finish this off! If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box to the crime scene, pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime. It's not possible for one person to do this all by herself. Correct, it's not possible. It really is impossible. For one person to do all the preparations, that is. Ah! Need I remind you, the foolish receive no mercy. Wait, 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 wait. This one, Karma. You said it was not possible for one person, correct? Well, you can't be serious. God, she is really, she is really tearing that beret apart. Miss Miney, you had an accomplice. The attorney's badge. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> it was the attorney's badge. Uh, this person. If it wasn't someone from Korean Village, you couldn't have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't someone from the Fey household, you wouldn't have ha you wouldn't have that box to use. Morgan Fey. 
Isn't that the wonderful lady who, who Lady Witness we had earlier? What do you have to say to this, Miss Miney? <laughs> you shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Do you deny it? Oh, damn! <laughs> nice! I think this is what really happened. The murderer had planted herself at the scene Boy of the crime. Voice acting! Witness breakdown! <laughs> Your roommates are- Oh, I didn't hit mute. I'm sorry. <laughs> My roommate. <laughs> oh, are you okay? <laughs> Do they understand what witness breakdown means, though? Oh, they got me into Ace Attorney. Oh, so they know exactly what's happening. <laughs> that is amazing. The murderer had planned herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then the channeling started. The murderer crept silently towards the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Faye with a strong sleeping agent. Then, she stabbed Dr. Gray with the knife. Next, she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did so so that she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But, that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yes. Oh, sh Dr. Gray was actually not yet dead. The last of his strength, he fired the shot at his attacker. And that's why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray and... After that, after that you and the other lady thought to break into the room. Yes, a gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why, upon hearing the shots, we force our way into the channeling chamber. Miss Miney, she immediately covered her costume with blood. It pretended to be Maya Fey. What? That sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Fey chased us out. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry, before there are more victims here. What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. <laughs> Who, who's that laughing at a time like this? Ah. Oh, you simple-minded fools. I'm sorry. Are you still by chance evolving? What? What is, what is it this time? Miss Von Karma, surely. Of course it was me. Do you really think someone of Von Karma blood would lose due to something this petty? What in the world? Mr. Phoenix Wright. Hey, Xana. Your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And that is? If this witness is the real murderer, why would she go through all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one, putting on this whole act. What reason would she have to do such foolish things? Uh, well, that's, uh... Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Eeny Miney want to kill Dr. Gray? Where is her motive? Yeah, that's exactly what <laughs> I was gonna say, too. Yeah, motive. I don't have a motive. 
Uh, motive? That's... I can't say she has no... I can't say she has a motive here. I have to think of a motive. What is the reason for wanting Dr. Grey dead? The reason why you want a Dr. Grey dead is this. It's night two women car crash on highway to center speed. Hey, newbie, how are you doing today? I'll mention this today because I, 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 I feel like... I don't think this is Eni. If, I don't think this is the, I think this is, uh, I think this is her sister, and she's been pretending, because she had heavy plastic surgery done to her, right? Uh, what if she doesn't have to find out if she's real? Oh, it's totally dropped off. How was your sister? Mimi, my name. Wait, 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 hold on, you what? Okay. Ha! Huh. Just as I thought, you bore me with your silly answers, Phoenix Wright. Just great. Now even she is calling me my full name. Do you think I did this to get revenge for my sister's death? Yes! Because through that accident, you suffered a lot in hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? And do you want to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing? What do you mean by that? See now, stupid Gramps. Jesus, her thing's taking a full 180. I'm like, going to explain, so like... Please listen, okay? Wait, what? <laughs> that was too much whiplash there! It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I, like, wanted revenge, then, like, I wouldn't have waited this long. Is Eni me? I hope not, AJ. How are you doing today, AJ? Let me give a quick shout out to AJ. Best friend, amazing supporter of the channel, and a great emo artist. How are you doing, AJ? Hey, AJ. Um, and sides. Like, the spirit that thought of the spirit thing, or sorry, um, and sides. Like, the guy that thought of the spirit thing was, like, Dr. Gray. It was, like, a total coincidence. He asked me about it, you know? She's back to her airhead persona. However, you see, ah! Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You failed to support your own theory. The end. I think we have, an, we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix, right? What Manny has stated, what, what Miss Manny has stated is very true. Wrench plan is overly complicated. She has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Faye to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have any truly decisive piece of evidence to demonstrate your point. What? So many faults, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You should really learn your place. Ugh. What happened? I thought I had it for sure. <laughs> See, like, it's just as I, like, told you. I hope you liked your slice of humble pie. Very well, I know. I, I now conclude the cross examination of Mission Eeny Money. Big mood, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know, AJ just texted in chat, Step on me, Von Karma. Your Honor, please allow the defense one more minute. Alright, I thought this was gonna happen. Alright. You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia. Yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But, you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There's a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And there's also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Time is up, Mr. Wright. Your final answer, please. If you want to say that you can prove Miss Meanie had a motive, then why did she kill the victim in this way? Can you prove the reason? Can I? Can I really do this? 
Wait, I'm gonna have to say yes. I'm gonna save just in case. <laughs> nah, I can't end trial. <laughs> Later, man. <laughs> hey, Athena, how are you doing? <clears throat> I I am not totally confident here, but I know that I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Miney had a motive. <laughs> Too bad. You're too late. My cross-examination has already ended, after all. Yeah! Interesting. <laughs> I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> what? You're supposed to be on my side! <laughs> hey! Von Karma only cares about the perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And I don't care if you are my witness, so help me, I will throw you out of my way. <laughs> Damn! No way. Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. We'll continue the cross examination after we reconvene. Hey, wait a sec here. There's a second part to this! <laughs> okay! Please let me get my health back. Please let me get my health back. Oh, you foolish fool. <laughs> you get your health back. <laughs> Mommy? Oh my god, AJ. AJ, she's 18. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Germany is a hellscape in this world where you can become a lawyer at fucking 13. Yep. This is Capcom, not Nintendo, to be fair. This is Capcom, not Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo just hosts it. What was Nintendo the, the was the was Nintendo the brand that kept the game on the longest or something? Like I mean, I think it was originally on the what was it? It was either Game Boy or it was mm -hmm. either Game Boy Advance or the DS. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure which. She looks 30. Damn, okay. <laughs> All right. It's just the silver hair is tripping you up. Right, yeah. Well, I mean, she's 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 18 years old, so no, technically not. She's not. Uh, she she has plenty of growing to do. I mean, 18 is technically an adult. It's legally though, an adult, but... yeah, but like every 18 year old is a dumbass. <laughs> All right, here's what we're gonna do, real quick, guys. Um. I'm gonna take a break to refill my water. She's an adult, but emotionally mature for someone of my age. Exactly, that's the best way of putting it, AJ. I'm gonna get some water. Uh, uh, if you need to get water, Katie, you get water. We're gonna take a quick five minute break ourselves. Mm. Before uh, We're gonna take a quick five minute recess. Lawyer terms. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we'll be right back, all right, guys? I mean, this is like every anime. She looks 40, acts 40, was actually 15. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that happens a lot in Ace Attorney yeah. sometimes. Yeah, it does. I, uh, yeah. And then you have Morgan, who just looks ancient. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be back in five. See you soon. Yeah, Francisca's my favorite, though. Love, love her. <laughs> okay, bye.
Mm-hmm. And we're back, guys. It is time to... Did I put on the audio correctly? I did. And we're back, guys. It is time to go forward and prove once and for all that Eeny Miny is uh, the bad guy here. Is your screen back or is my phone broken? Your phone may be broken? My well, screen's back. Oh, there we go. Thank you very yeah, much. My F phone's always on crazy oh. delay. We're, we're going to let the... Uh... <laughs> Newbie, thank you very much. Oh, my God. We're gonna let the, we're gonna let the, we're gonna let this go on for a little bit because what's gonna happen here is we're gonna have like five alerts <laughs> for um uh, God damn Chris thank you very much uh, I see Chris but God damn movie thank you very much it means the world to me my dude I am I I am ever so grateful dude you, you, you coming out supporting you being a real bro thank you very much and um. I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. Seriously. Oh, wait. Oh. That reminds me. I think I, my subscription on you ran out. Whoops. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you very much again, Nuzi. Um, this is very kind of you. I'm going to let, let, let those play out before we get to you on, though. <laughs> I am... All right. There we, we go. We love our resident simp, Joe. Yeah, we do. Thank you very much, Joe. Every, remember, guys, Joe's a, Joe is a uh, uh, Genshin streamer, so make sure to check him out, yeah? <laughs> Thank you very much, Katie. I fixed it. Thank you very much. And I hope you guys all enjoy the beautiful emotes that AJ made and getting your points back and being able to vote on the Discord about all the really cool stuff and things and... Oh my god, we're really close to hype train. Damn. That's really cool. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys very much. Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, let's get going. Bonk, bonk. Is it really true about my aunt? I'm afraid so, Maya. There's no way Eni could have killed Dr. Gray by herself. And under the circumstances, there's no one else other than your aunt Morgan. That, that's terrible. Why? Oh, what my aunt? Everything is going just... I don't know who's speaking. I'm confused. Okay, uh, alright. Who, who am I guessing this voice is? Who am I gonna guess this voice it's is? It's probably a girl's voice. You think so? Because... Who... I don't know of any guys who say Mr. Phoenix right. Uh, you know who it could be? It could be it could be channeled Edgeworth in 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 uh in Pearl's body. He's never called him Mr. Phoenix right though. Mm. Hey, Mr. Phoenix No, that doesn't fit right either. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't fit right at all. Oh, I don't know who it is. How's the throw holding up during the voice acting? Uh, my voice acting has been very minimal. Like, my judge's voice, instead of being rough and gravelly, kind of like that, it's been more like, hey, this is a judge, you know? Um, so I, I've been doing very little voice acting. Um, yeah. All right, well, I, I'm going to put a guess. I think this is going to be Mia. I can't see it being me. I'm going to say Morgan just because I don't mm, know who else. Good point. Whoa! Ah, Miss Fun. Oh. I I wanted to say it was her, but I couldn't believe it. Yeah, okay. I should have put my chips down. Dang it. <laughs> ah, Miss Von Karma. Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? Nick had nothing to do with what happened to his dad. Don't you have something better to be worrying about? Say, your own situation. Hmm. Looking down on me, even though we're the same age. Are you done yet? You've caused me enough pain and suffering. Not yet. <gasps> My goal is to defeat you, and to let the whole world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, it won't bring your father back. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> In the meantime, let's bring this match to its conclusion. And then we'll know who the real winner is. 
Just light blue cufflinks. <laughs> not my biggest <laughs> notice thing. <laughs> Court will not reconvene, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor? Can you prove Miss Eni Meany had a motive? Yes, I believe I can. Eni Meany and Dr. Gray have only one point of connection, and that is the car accident one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be there. Miss Miney, please testify to the court about your car accident last year. <clears throat> oh, I thought, like, you wanted to, like, ask about my, like, motive. I, like, don't see the point in, like, bringing up the past. Miss Miney, if you please. Okay, okay. Like, I totally don't think it will do any good, but... That was, like, last year in May. Like, something really bad <laughs> happened at, like, my sister's clinic around then. And, like, the night of the accident, my sis was totally tired when she was driving. I was, like, totally pooped out too, so I, like, fell asleep in the passenger seat. I, like, woke up because of a jolt, and, like, it was a sea of flames around me. I, like, opened the door and, like, got away. Hmm. I think I've heard, I think I've heard this incident. It was on the talk about the tabloid... Uh, it was all the talk on the tabloid shows day after day last year. Yes, and there was talk about Dr. Gray drugging your sister. Ah! Those were merely rumors. Totally baseless gossip. Hmm, yes. Mr. Wright, you may now question the witness. Right now, it's impossible to prove that Dr. Gray did, in fact, drug Miss Meanie's sister. Yeah, which means I'll have to work this from another angle. I keep messing up angel and angle when I spell them myself, so I thought it said angel for a second, and <laughs> I was about to say angel. <laughs> If I had a nickel for every time Eni said like, we'd both be rich ethanol. Right. Didn't some sort of medical malpractice happen at your sister's hospital then? Yeah, like, that was in May too. Like, the thing with all the patients dying was like, May 2nd. And like, our accident was like, on the 24th. Two accidents back to back. Do you assume it was just a coincidence? My sis was like totally tired, so that's why. Duh. That's your birthday. <laughs> Poor Mia just seems so Pearl yeah, Pearl Mia seems really weird. I don't like it. That was a malpractice incident where 14 patients died, correct? Yeah. What was the cause of the mistake? Like, I heard it was cause the medicines, like, got mixed up. That was the fault of your, of your sister, Mimi Miney. Like, no way. Dr. Gray, like, wanted to blame it on my sis. That, is, that, has, inci oh. <laughs> that incident has nothing to do with our murder here. Besides, the police report has already documented that it was entirely Meanie Miney's fault. Which means, as far as the real facts are concerned, Meanie Miney was the one who made the mistake. But, like, it really wasn't my sis. So, I'm just waiting for a surprise Pearl Edgeworth. That's what I'm waiting for, too. She was... Totally tired. You mean exhausted? Like, she had to talk to the police and, like, was being investigated, like, every day. It was, like, a totally terrible situation. Out of likes. No wonder, then, that the car happened, huh? Uh, the car accident happened, huh? Press the hard. car happened. The car- The car- It's no- It's no surprise that the car existed! <laughs> So, then, why did you ask to switch places? 
Huh? Like, what are you talking about? I meant switch drivers. If your sister was so tired, then you should have switched with her. True, true. Ah, uh, but like, I don't like have a driver's license. Which is... This is... This is news to me. I was not aware that you didn't have your license, Miss Miney. Hmm, Miss Miney, please amend your testimony. Alright, she has a license. Like, okay. Anyway... She has a license. I was like, totally... for you. Okay. What? I guess that was it. Okay, hold on. I just really like, hate, like, Amy, like, I don't know, like, like her, like. <laughs> <laughs> the accident happened at night, correct? Yeah, like, it was at, like, 1 a.m. or so, I think. I had, like, a paper due, like, really soon. So, like, I hadn't slept and was working, like, really hard. So it's because the two of you were so tired that this accident happened. She actually talks like me, though. <laughs> AJ, please don't talk like that. And sister, what happened to her? I didn't see her. The car was, like, totally black, and there was, like, a ton of smoke. I, like, totally had, like, <laughs> no clue what was going on. I like open the door and like got away. Yeah. Please tell us about your escape in more detail. I I like kept wanting to forget that time. So like I don't remember things about the accident in like detail anymore. Hmm. Well, it's all right. No need to push yourself. I think I like gave an interview after the accident. Like that would probably be the most accurate, you know? Hmm. If it's that article I've already got. Yeah, I know. You're pointing me there. I got you. I, like, didn't have my license, so, like, I couldn't take over driving for her. Let's take a look at that article one more time. I know I read it before. I was, like, totally tired and I dropped off to sleep. There was a crash, and when I woke up, I keep seeing flames. I was, like, still half asleep, but I opened the right door and, like, got out. I don't remember anything else. Open the right door. That's the passenger side, right? Does Japan drive on the left side? They don't know. Right? Well, this is the American side. Americanized yeah. version yeah, of this thing. Yeah, so... That's the, all I'll say. But... So it is interesting. It's kind of a side. But. <laughs> <laughs> I opened the right door and, like, got out. Okay, so she opened the right door. But either way, what we're going to press on is the fact that we have her... License photo. <laughs> Miss Miney, that was a lame lie just now. Like, what do you mean? I know you had a license back then. This is a photo you took f <laughs> for the express purpose of getting a driver's license. Um. What does it mean, this, Miss Miney? Uh, uh, I, that, that's right. Yeah, I had, like, a license, but... But I didn't get it until after the accident. No, you had it. You had it at the time of the accident. Director Hadi, or the guy pretending to be him anyway, said so. What? Are you talking about that perverted, fake... Clinic director? Yeah, I gotta give you the willies. Yes, that perverted flight clip. Flight, flight. <laughs> no one cares. Witness, when did you receive your driver's license? Like, last November. What? N N November? The accident happened last May. That's half a year lapse in time, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? What in the? That's what happened, Mr. Wright. 
At the time of the accident, Miss Miley did not have a driver's license. <sighs> Ow! Cry and my whip will accommodate. <laughs> Anyways, without a license, the witness and her sister could have not switched drivers. I'm like, glad you get it, but... Like, even if I had my license... I like, don't think my sis would have like, let me drive. Hmm. Yow! Don't just stand there humming to yourself. Are you whipping me now? Are you too? <laughs> With the whip and the pain and the ow? <laughs> Miss Miney, why do you think you're s you would not have been allowed to drive anyway? Eh? Um, that's because... I think the situation calls for more detailed testimony, Miss Miney, if you please. Eh? Like, how annoying. Oops, like, sorry, didn't mean to be mean. If it was Americanized, then wouldn't her getting out of the right be getting out of the driver's side? No, no, driver's side is on the left side. For America. Right? I don't know, I, I'm, I'm imagining myself getting to my car right now, hold on. Yeah, my right side is the passenger side, because like, when I, when I start driving, like, I have a habit that when I, when, if I have to brake suddenly, even if there's no one next to me, I put my hand out to my right. So like, to, to protect anyone who's there, and also to protect my groceries, because I don't want my eggs breaking. <laughs> I'm just like, no, I protect this now. Isn't the left the American? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we drive on the right, sit on the left, yeah. I've yeah, yeah, yeah. I I've seen the left passenger seat in golf carts, but that's really about it. Like, around that time, I was, like, really close to getting my license. My sis was, like, this totally big fan of cars and, like, really valued them. She, like, had just gotten this really shiny bright red sports car. She, like, would say things like, no way am I letting a noob drive my car. <laughs> So, like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night, too. See, a bright red car for sports. <laughs> now then, <laughs> that's a question to witness. <laughs> he knows, just, he knows, the judge knows about as much about cars as I do, and I am really glad that Saul can finally relate to me in this exact situation. Oh, man. So, what do you mean by really close? Like, I had one of those permit things. I think that's what they're called. Uh, a permit? Wow, the big name lawyer boy doesn't know what a driver's permit is. Well, this lawyer's never had a permit. Ah! Ignorance is to be whipped. What is with her? She's all she said in the last few minutes is utter nonsense. So, like, may I continue? She valued cars. How much would you say she valued her car? Well, like, she'd flip out at like a drop of rain. And, like, would notice if someone, like, touched the car door with dirty hands. Oh, she's one of those people. In that case, why bother taking the car out of the garage ever? Let's press harder. Why did she take, the, why did she take the special care of her car? How can you say that? It was a brand spanking new car. New car? Like, you wouldn't want to, like, get it dirty, would you, Mr. Lawyer? I would think that cars either are just another fact of life, but I guess people who really love their cars think otherwise. Phoenix, try asking something of more significance, alright? That gave me a lot of significance. She was so... She was so insulted when we said, why did she even take out the car? Like, you know, why did she take such a... This is not Eni. This is her sister. I am putting it down. This is Mimi who got facial reconstruction because her sister's permit's the only thing that survived or whatever it was. Well, Miss Miney, what kind of car was it? 
you like, and oh yeah. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. It was a new car. Yeah. She had like just gotten it. It was like from the UK. AJ! I wish you drive the car she cared about when she Yeah, exactly, exactly. Hmm, the UK. Were those her boyfriend's initials? <laughs> <laughs> Rip. Okay, how and did this really become a judge? And it was a really special model. Look how much she loves cars. She had waited for a whole year for it to arrive. I guess her love for cars would be that would be the obvious next topic. I really don't know anything about cars, but I feel like this is about to come up. Your Honor. Yes. Please have the witness append what she just at, said through her testimony. You mean the part about being a special import car? Yes. <sighs> well, if you like cars that much, then. That's not my point! <laughs> Though to be honest, I don't know what the point is either. Miss Miney, would you please fix your testimony? Sure, whatever. Wait, 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 if she got a car from the UK, time out. If she got a car from the UK, this is really, this is really messing with me right now. She got it's a car from the UK. It is made in British standards where the driver's on the right hand side. That means she came out of the driver's seat. She came out of the driver's seat because it's from the UK. She came out of the driver's seat. She's not a passenger. This is a lie. This is a lie. <laughs> Cronk meme, it's all coming together. <laughs> and Katie's sitting here like, I'm not gonna say shit. <laughs> I yelled, hold it, pretty forcefully, but I don't actually know what to ask about cars. Asking for the heck of it. Um, so yes, what am I supposed to pick for the topic? Let's start with this. Why are British cards good? Like, huh? They're expensive and their driver's seat is opposite to the cars we have here in the States. Okay. It would be, it would seem that there's no benefit in owning one. Like, huh? The whole steering wheel on the right side thing, it's kind of goofy, isn't it? You, what do you know? God, you like your cars. That sleek shit, the way wild, a uh, feeling of mutual transition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, forgive me. First thought, it really changes the drop of a hat. It's interesting, isn't it, Phoenix? Bit by bit, we're beginning to see the real contradiction behind this case. How many more do we have? Okay, let's, um... Let's press these a little bit. Was your sister good at driving? She was, like, totally awesome. She, like, said she was going to be the, like, racing queen of the nursing world. Ooh, see that girl? Watch that scene, thing in the racing queen. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Anyways. Don't know, I think she bumped my question off track again. Uh, high five stuff. I thought the accident occurred, correct? Like, yeah. I like immediately reached for the passenger side door and fled, like, in a daze. Hmm. Oh, like you had a terrifying time. There is something very big here. It's going to be hard to break apart such a natural sounding testimony. But we have to attack it and. By doing so, a flaw will show itself. It has to. Do you think so? Believe. There is a path. I know it. Hmm. He sounded like a prophet for a second there. So I know what the thing is. I just don't know where to present it. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I think I'm presenting it at the passenger side door. And I'm going to present page two of the like i remember that page two of this because here it says uh i totally got tired drop off the sleeve there was a crash and i woke up in the huge sea of flames 
I put open the right door the right door and we'll, like got out. That's that that is the driver's side door. Right? Uh mm. Cause she said she opened it on the pasture side. And it, it contradicts directly what she says here, so I'm gonna save and do it. But I swear to God, this is one of those things where it's like, well, you have to present the picture of the newspaper first, like... <laughs> Sound change, we're good. Miss Miney, do you remember this article? It's an article about the accident. You had said this in it. But I opened the right door and, like, got out. <clears throat> That's correct, isn't it? Like, why are you suddenly asking me about that? Your Honor, which side is the passenger's seat? The left or the right? Well, it's on the right side, of course, because the driver's on the left. That would be if it were an American car. But it would be the opposite in a British car. Opposite. The two of them were riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side will be on the left side. Ugh. What do you mean by this? Miss Miney, you said that you escaped using the right side door of the car. But if you were sitting there, then that means you were in the driver's seat. Ugh. Order, order in the court. Order, order. Ah! Mr. Phoenix Wright is blabbering nonsense again. Eenie said the person who was driving was her older sister, Mimi Miney. That is what Eenie said, yes. But that is where her story falls apart. Somewhere, all of us made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix. It looks like you finally found the real root of this murder. If we connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. I'd like to ask the court a question. Amy or Mimi, who was really driving that night? The pause, the epic pause. I, here's the thing, I'm trying to do the mental math. It's like it's like it's like multiplying a negative, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like I'm trying to find the double negative in this one, because if Amy got out of the right side door, that means Mimi was driving. But if Mimi got out, but Amy was. See, that's the mental gymnastics I'm trying to go through right now. Um. Save and go with your heart. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Mimi Mike. Because here's the thing Mimi Mimi was driving. Then she got her surgery, then became Amy Mimi. The answer is one person who had a driver's license, Mimi Miney. After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. But you just said, the witness, Miss Eenie Miney, was the one in the driver's seat. Well, she leads to the next question. The... The, oh, the <laughs> next question. Who is the person standing at the witness stand right now? Ugh. What sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? This witness's name. This witness's name is... I'll tell you what her name is. Really? The witness's real name is... I love how it's like all of your... all Like everything. You lose everything. Her name is... My attorney? No. Um. Her name is Phoenix Wright. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi Miney, that's your real name. Of all the foolish dribble, then how do you explain her appearance? The witness had severe facial burns when she was admitted to the hospital. And for the purpose of facial reconstructions, the surgeons used a picture. Facial reconstruction surgery? This is the picture she gave the do her doctors at the time. That's right. It's a picture of her younger sister! No! But Mimi Miney, she died in the car accident. That's what everyone thought. However, 
That was not the case. Then, the body they found at the crash site. That was the body of the real Eenie Meenie. Isn't that right, Miss Mimi Meenie? <laughs> That car accident one year ago. That one who died that night was Eeny Miney. Or Eeny Me. Oh, whatever. Her sister, Mimi, then stole her face and was reborn as Eeny. With this, she effectively erased Mimi Miney from existence. Your Honor. I'm sure you can now see why Mimi had to kill Dr. Gray. What do you mean? Ah! What is the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. Specifically, the spirit of his nurse that died in that crash, Mimi Miney. However, that would not have been possible because Mimi Miney was still, in fact, alive. That's so funny to say. And the fact that would have been discovered had the channeling been conducted. So this witness had to stop that from happening at all costs. And, and, and that's why she had to kill Dr. Turner Gray? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Before the channeling, Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting this witness about communication, communicating with the dead. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. Well, Miss Ian, I mean, Miss Von Con Ah! Why did he say my name just now? Looks like I've been unmasked. Witness? That's right. I admit it. My real name is Mimi Miney. That quack doctor, he got what he deserved in the end. I was so close to finally ditching Mimi, too. So close. But, but why? Why would you go so far as to throw away yourself? You have your own sister. I think I understand why. Mimi Miney wanted her old self this fear because of... That's... That's about the malpractice incident. Dr. Gray was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. A nurse by the name of Mimi Miney. That's right, the person standing before us today. And a few weeks after this mishap... Mimi Miney had a car accident. In which she lost her younger sister. The, the timing couldn't have been worse. Fourteen patients dying in that incident and her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. I found a way for myself to escape it all. The only way. She lost everything in the flames of that accident. Her sister, and even her own face. This was her last chance. Her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. Unbelievable. A plan beyond my wildest imagination. That jerk. If only he hadn't thought of the channeling mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo? Coming Eni has been the most horrible experience in the world. Spirit channeling, the occult. I hate it. I hate it all. I believe there's still an, a few unsolved riddles here, such as why did Miss Mimi ch M Miney choose to go through such a complicated plan, and why did Miss Morgan Fay agree to help her execute it? Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear: the innocence of the defendant, Maya Fay. This, this is preposterous. I, I'm perfect. 
me. Francisco von Karma. I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Miss von Karma. How about you? <laughs> it's going to broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. Ah! 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 Ow! 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 And one more for good measure. Ow! That was like four! Phoenix, hang in there, Phoenix. Phoenix! It's like that- it's like that moment! So it's like that moment in Salt was like Snake! Snake! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he probably shouldn't have rubbed it. <laughs> <laughs> she had her whip the whole time. You knew what you were doing, Phoenix. That was that was playing with fire. <laughs> that was playing with fire. Uh someone has daddy issues. <laughs> Yeah, you can say that again. This court is a fraud, a sham. So it should have been a lot. <laughs> now then, it looks like it will be some time before Miss Wright gains consciousness. <laughs> oh, put an F in the chat, lads. Put an F in the chat. Pepperoni. <sighs> Bailiff, do your goddamn job, right? No bailiff's gonna risk their life like that. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> Francesca von Karma is the number one cause of death for all bailiffs in this world. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go on and pronounce the verdict. <laughs> Not guilty. <laughs> He's like even at the stand, I love it! It would've been funny if they put him on the, on the side of the stand, you know what I'm saying? Just unconscious on the ground. I think I would've liked that a bit. That is Just all. slumped over the desk. <laughs> that is all. Court is adjourned. That is so funny. June 22nd. Three years in the future, Phoenix finally awakens. <laughs> Congratulations, Maya. Success! Good to see you, Maya. Er, uh, whoops. <laughs> Good to see you, Maya. How are you doing? Sis! Sis! I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A really bad dream. You know, sis, my dream, I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent? I was inside that clothing box, right? That box. That was the box you used to store your clothes in a long time ago. <laughs> That's right. It stunk just like you! <laughs> Hmm, there's one thing I still... There's one thing I don't quite get. What's that? What would have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke in because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi... Mimi Miney had planned to open the door to the chamber herself. <laughs> and then, you and Lada would have witnessed quite a scene. A possessed Maya Fey who had just committed a murder. She had a plan down to the smallest detail, huh? Nick! Congrats, Maya. Thanks. Looks like you bailed me out of another gym. Well, you know. Hold on, let me get a quick shout out to Pleasant Finn. How you doing, my, po my little pog champ? I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Pog champ is just such a word to me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Finn's my little pog champ, and I'm theirs. It's, it's okay. <laughs> uh, Mia is not alive. She's currently possessing the body of pearls. Um, and yes, uh, Edgeworth is is uh, to the best of our knowledge dead. 
Phoenix has vaguely mentioned it. Yeah. Girl. And he's like, we we don't speak about Edgeworth. We don't talk about Edgeworth. Not we since don't talk about Edgeworth. Worth, worth, worth. Oh, we don't talk about Edgeworth. Anyways, I'm addicted to that song. I was trying to put it in trial there. All right. I really don't want something like this to happen ever again. I'm gonna wait till the next game. If, if I was ever if I was ever accused of murder again, I don't know what I'd do. This kind of stuff will never ever happen. <laughs> this is my friend Katie Finn. This is my uh, this is my friend Katie. She is a Ace Attorney fan and uh, a really good friend of mine. She's also great at D and D. So uh, yeah. Hello. You find out. I'm fine, because I have you to help me out, Nick. Every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. First my sister, and now my aunt. Hey Nick, tell me. Tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible. Why would you help Mimi Miney come up with a plan like that? Because I don't understand it, Nick. Oh, it's over. Why don't we let it be? Nick, please. I need an answer. The reason Morgan helped Mimi with her plan was... Huh. Yeah, no, it is... I'll say this. I'll say this. It is really weird. So th Pearl is this eight-year-old girl. AJ, Pearl is this eight-year-old girl who just channeled... Who just channeled... Maya. <laughs> So, <laughs> Mia. Yeah, Mia. So it's a, uh, so Mia channeling Maya or Maya channeling Mia. Okay. Pearl channeling Mia. It's a little much. It's a little much. Early. Four years from now, a new master will be born into Karain Village. That person will be you, Maya. And... But if you weren't there, then the main family's bloodline would disappear and... What would happen then? The branch family. My aunt. No. Morgan's spiritual power is too weak. The next person would be Pearls. Everything was done for her sake. It was all so that Pearls could become the next master. Yeah, I can see that. Did Maya say something just now? I think that she was saying I thought so. Oh. Day and time unknown. Attention centers. Wait, what? My precious Pearl, you are the only one suitable to be the master of Karine, my dear child. I sacrificed it all, all for you. I helped that brainless nurse carry out her murder, and cooperated with that whip-happy prosecutor. It was all to unseat that annoying, witless main family girl. That Maya Fay. <laughs> but I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. That doesn't bode well. <laughs> At all. Big Top. I'm assuming this is the carnival one. Yeah, this is the one where... So, like, it has some good moments that I like. And the ending, I like. Yeah. By this... God, are some of these people the worst? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't remember what happens with Morgan Fay in the future, but I do remember being like, where's the payoff going to be for this one? And I don't know if it's in the next game or in a future game or whatever, but like, I'll have to see in the future. Uh, but yeah, 
Worse than Eni? No, I, the, the, they're worse for a different. They're not worse in terms of memeing worse. They're what? No, 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 no. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Steph. They're worse in a multitude of ways. <laughs> we'll have to see uh, next month. Mimi saying like is the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> and right now we've got a pickaxe and we're going down. Worse than the doctor? Is it worse than Dr. Hody? Hody? Whatever you call him? Mm, debatable, probably. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> debatable. I mean, Hot Hody's... Pretty bad. Pretty bad, but... Some of these... Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to some of this, yeah. but I am looking forward to other parts. It's annoying because it has some of the things I really like. It does so. It has some elements that I love about Ace Attorney, but it also has all the worst parts of Ace Attorney. So mm. it's a very mixed bag of a case. Uh, I think it's said. It was said somewhere that Shutakumi wrote this. Uh, or. I don't know if it's that he came up with the idea for it or wrote the whole, the rough draft of it when drunk, but <laughs> <laughs> I've seen people say that, like um, amazing, and I'm like that would that yeah that makes sense. Yeah, I I don't remember this case. I know I've played it because I beat the second game, but like I don't remember this case. But um. This is this is the part of the games where my memory starts actually fading to real to like being really bad. Um, I remember something about a walkie-talkie, but that's far in the future, apparently. <laughs> uh, it's not this case. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So, um, let me catch up with chat real quick. Everyone was freaking out about uh, <laughs> pearls for a second. Yes, AJ's right. Uh, you're all my little pog champs. Um. Phoenix lost the love of his life and he didn't go through a villain arc. Impressive. Yeah. Um, Pro channeled Mia, AJ, kind of weird. Come on, Nick, answer already. Fuck. <laughs> okay, me calling Von Karma mommy was much less worse than the canon. <laughs> I mean, yes. I will apparently, say that. Apparently, Ace Attorney needs a goddamn ghost hunter with all the channeling going around. Yeah, you gotta do some ghost hunting. Um, We have about an hour left on our normal... Uh, I'm just here to fight for the rights of Ceph of a cephalopod, which says a lot. Wait, what? I'm so confused. What, I don't get that one either. I'm I don't get confused. this one either. <laughs> You'll find out. Wait, what do you mean I'll find out? What? <laughs> that sounds so mildly threatening. Are you going to throw an octopus at me? Uh, there's been nothing DM to me either, which is still terrifying. I actually, not that I big of it. <laughs> I can't uh, think of what you're referencing offhand. Okay. Oh wait, I think I know. Um, Does that have to do with the D and D notes you sent us before? No, I think. Okay. I think it's uh, a cephalopod. That is that a cephalopod. Ace Attorney Phasmophobia Edition. Yeah, let's go. I think I, I think I know what AJ is referencing now, actually. Um, cephalopod is a whale, right? No, cephalopods are, uh, no. are octopi. Oh, never mind. I Kefalo, just have no clue. So it comes from... Cephalopod come from the Greek word kephali and... Which means AJ head. did mean the whale. Heck oh. yeah. <laughs> Wait, what whale? Wait, is this the fucking orca? <laughs> <laughs> is this the fucking orca? <laughs> is this where we meet the orca? We, no, the orca <laughs> is not trilogy era. I'll just okay. say that now. Okay. All right. Uh, we usually end off at about 45 minutes, but we ended up this pier here. Do you, you want to just do this? Because like... Yeah, I was, I was about to ask you. If to be you, honest, if I want to be on this... I want to be on... The earlier parts of this case for as little time as possible. Yeah, all right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this then. But I'm waiting for it. You're waiting for it. I don't know what what game it is, but I do have the fourth game on my uh, DS. I just don't have a DS screen reader. Prepare to I can tell you what game it is. It's the fifth one, I assume, right? Yeah. Okay. 
it's a bonus case on the fifth one. All right. <clears throat> oh, this guy's this guy is fabulous. The world's greatest magician, the one, the only, Maximilian Galactica. Hey, they gave him a belly button. That's good. Oh shoot, all right. Are, is this guy in any way related, by the way, to, to Trucy? No. Okay. I was just curious if, like they had if this was like the first no, time we see Trucy. Whole other magician thing. Yeah, that's why I was curious about it. Wow. That was like being in a dream. Yeah, apparently I don't know. I saw this I saw this one post that I saw this one joke like comic that was like uh, just like, why is, why is Felix defending a fucking orca? And I'm like, wait, what? I haven't even caught my breath yet. Hee <laughs> hee, that was amazing, wasn't it, Pearly? It was great. There was a dancing bear. Hmm. And a tiger that jumped through a ring of fire. An elephant that rode a giant ball. Not to mention that guy who th who flew through the air. Yeah, that's Galactica. He was absolutely fabulous. Huh? What? Max? Max Galactica, the world's greatest magician. A mad magician. No, a magician. You idiot. <laughs> um, Mr. Nick. Huh? What is it, Pearls? Does magic have anything to do with channeling spirit? I don't think it has anything to do with channeling. You don't know about magic, do you, Pearls? I'm sorry. I braved the winter cold and took Pearls to see the circus. It's been six months since that terrible incident in Korean Village. And it was during that trying time I had met Pearl. Thankfully, she seems to be recovering from it and is returning to her normal self. Ah, uh, it's time to go. You're right. You can't miss the last train. Pearls, you remember the train? Of course I did. But I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. Ormick, see you later. I'll come by to help clean the office. I'll be spotless for the new year. Don't worry about it, really. You are going to visit Mr. Nick on New Year's? Maybe. Please don't. I'm glad you won't <laughs> get to spend <laughs> your New Year's with someone special. God damn it, Pearls. <laughs> this, is, this is the game where you're like, everyone saw that they were trying to ship Maya and Phoenix, and they all hated it, right? Well, I mean, Pearl, Pearl has it, uh, if you think, I forget if it's explicitly stated in game, yeah. but if you think of, but, um, there's a lot of reasons for why she might think this way. Oh, no, and 100%. It has to do with how messed up that village is. <laughs> no, no, 100%, but I'm also thinking, like, uh, isn't it also, like, like, because she mentioned once that the writers actually tried to basically make, like, Maya Phoenix kind um, of the focus on the shipping instead of Phoenix Edgeworth. Think that they tr they try and focus them as a ship. I think, I think in one game when Maya's older, they have a weird li line in like a trailer or something that like okay. seems like it might imply it. But like in the actual game, like nothing's like ever romantic about them. She's always like Nick, you're an old man. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the vibe I get from it. So I'm just like, I don't know if they're trying to do that with pearls. Yeah. I don't think so, because... Yeah. Really, look, it's time to go! Happy New Year, Mr. Nick. Happy New Year. I really hoped it would turn out that way. Did you make enough money from that one case to survive six months, Nick? God dang. I'm jealous. <laughs> well, today wraps up for the New Year. Uh, for this year. I hope I can finish cleaning this place in one day. 
Oh, by the way. Uh, guess what I figured out? What? Uh, I figured this out. Oh, you used the auto file I sent you. Yeah. But I finally figured out how to put the Steel Samurai as my... <laughs> as my ringtone. I finally figured it out. It Yay. took It took me like... It took now me legitimately... ringtone twin. <laughs> yeah. It took me like... It took me legitimately like three weeks now, so... <laughs> to figure out how to do that. <laughs> Hello, this is the right code off it. Nick, it's terrible. Again? Are you getting framed for murder again, Maya? <laughs> oh, Maya, perfect timing. Things are terrible here, too. Oh. The office is a terrible mess, and I have to clean it up. What are you talking about? Um, my dirty office. What are you talking about? Listen, Nick, you have to turn on the TV. The TV? Now, let's check in at the scene. Huh? What's happened? Thank you. We're here at the big... At... We're here at the big... Uh, we're here at the... At the... <laughs> <laughs> at the very big circus. <laughs> we're here at the very big circus. The, the very big circus has become the center of a sensational murder. The scene has created quite a stir among the throngs of excited onlookers, as we now here have arrested Maya Fey for murdering <laughs> Max Galactica. <laughs> oh, if only. We have video proof of her stabbing him multiple times, saying, I possessed! I possessed! God, I wish. <laughs> the, I mean, the very big circus? That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying that there was a murder. Yeah, they arrested him too. Arrested who? Max! They arrested Max Galactica! Oh, I'm gonna make a voice for this guy, god damn it. Max a million Galactica, fans call him Max. If I'm a magician who can fly through the sky at will. Maya said she was a huge fan of Max. Look at him, he doesn't even have a shirt. What a loser. <laughs> hey, hey, AJ, I was going through that exact same thing. Like, my voice for him was going to be a pa Maximilian Pegasus voice. I'm not going to lie. I was thinking, let's go Maximilian Pegasus for this guy or or, or, or like a James from Jesse and James. <laughs> All right, Nick, I'll see you in two hours at the detention center. <laughs> huh? What? See you there. Still got plenty of time to clean up your office later. But what? Beep. How's Charlie doing? Charlie, a quite decorative plant. I wouldn't mind his help cleaning the place up. How's the how's the 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 Gatewater Hotel doing? There's a giant building just outside the window. It's the Gatewater Hotel, a high class luxury hotel. Until recently, it had been a normal business center class hotel. Okay, so this Can is you inspect the painting? I'm curious. Sure, yeah, yeah, I got you. A poster of the newest member of the Steel Samurai universe. Maya went out and bought it right away. She's a sucker for all things Steel Samurai. I hear they're even giving the new guy his own movie. I just know Maya's going to drag me to see it with her. <laughs> you That's cute. I didn't actually... I expect it to be just like, this is a stupid painting, but that's cute. All right, I gotta practice my Pegasus voice. Not too much voice acting stuff. It's not a hard one to do. What are they talking about? Why did they arrest Max? You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he used uh, his magical skills to deal death with a sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing. I think it's worse is... in other ways, as we will find out. Oh, great. Uh, I think I think the thing that we're immediately going Pegasus is Maximilian Galactica, Maximilian Pegasus. Very similar names. Fabulous! What a what the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous, Yugi boy. <clears throat> Yugi boy. Oh. I, I just gotta say Yugi boy like ten times. Yugi boy. There we go. Fabulous! What the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous. What a clever girl! Such a fabulous understanding of events! What is all this fabulous talk? 
Welcome to the visitor's room. It's Max! Nick, look! It's the real Maximilian Galactica! Alright, sweetie. Pick a card. Any card. He got me, sweetie! Nick! Ah ha ha! Time's running out, sweetie. Pick a card. Any card. It's this one! Oh, I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. The Ace of Hearts! Oh, he got it! He got it! Look, look, he got it! What can I say, sweetie? You've stolen one of my most valuable possessions. One of Maximilian Galactica's hearts! Ah. Well... Time to make this an absolutely fabulous time. Beth, you should let Nick pick a card. Uh, I don't want to steal one of his hearts. And you are. Oh, how silly of me. You must be Sweetie's driver. Her driver? Whatever. Hurry up and pick a card. Any card. Uh, I want this one. So, Sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to the visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Yes, I'm your biggest fan. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much. Hey, uh, what about my card? Think of it as a souvenir. <laughs> well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work. What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking at the ceiling? I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. Sweetie, drop the porcupine head over there. Shower me with your attention, okay? Oh, oh yes. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely cringe-inducing. Can we examine his horrible clothing? <laughs> I love it, so thank you. Um, <clears throat> oh no, don't tell me he has Viscount Druid vibes. I don't get what that means. I don't know who that is either. You'll have to, you'll have to tell us later. Alright, let's talk to this dude. Max, I was hoping you'd tell me a little bit more about yourself. Fabulous! I think we should get to know each other better too. Why don't you come sit next to me? Um... There's a big piece of security glass between us. <laughs> oh, sweet Jeebus. What in the world? If only I could use magic, then I would make this wall disappear. What is this guy talking about? Anyways, uh, lately you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? That's a Maximilian to you, porcupine head. Get it straight. Jeez, people nowadays. They get their panties all in a bunch over nothing. Why does he have abs? I love him and hate him so much. <laughs> Anyways, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? I did indeed! It was fabulous! I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. It's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabuloso of the fabulous world magicians. There was a trophy and bust. It was fab. I mean, it was an amazing day. Wow, that's incredible. Isn't it? I'm certifiably the greatest magician in the world. I'm gonna guess he didn't win a trophy for the most modest magician. Here from Black, Blast Black Butler, who's flamboyant and flirty, but he's also kind of killed and harvested women's organs. Oh my god. Okay, fair enough. I see it. Signed a, you're assigned to an exclusive contract with a very big circus, correct? That's the long and short of it. You're sure to do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. You can't just watch a magician on TV, you know. Magic is so fabulous. You have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right. You're so right. However, the circus, it's a dinosaur, a thing of the past. 
Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on there. Huh? What do you mean? That's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract? Thanks to me, the very big circus is fabulously popular. People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of the magic of Max Galactica. I revived this dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it wonderful, sweetie? Yes. She's seeing she's seeming disillusioned already. I made all the old crusty circ 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 <clears throat> Rewind. I made all the old crusty circus performances obsolete. But I kind of like the circus performances. Maya looks a bit down. Tell me what happened at the big, at the very big circus. Ah, last night, the ringmaster was murdered. The ringmaster? You mean Russell Berry? Is this a reference to something? I don't know. It feels like it should be. But... It does! It really does! Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over on the ground. Even though it was the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Questioned you about what? About everything. I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was murdered. I saw him last evening in his room, as I was bashing his head in. So then why were you arrested? Arrested? Don't make an ant hill to a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult with me on matters, that's all. Nick, I don't think Max understands how serious this is. <laughs> I don't love this guy. She's right, I think I, think I should shock him back into reality. Before the murder, you met with the ringmaster. Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Maya, would you please ask him? What did you talk about with the ringmaster, Max? It was nothing. Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. Hey! I am the one bringing in the crowds. I think I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Yes. That's all. Oh, that's all you talked about? Of course! It was a fabulous chat. Oh, psychic locks, baby. Let's go. Just, I mean, ah, oh, God, now he's got me saying it. I think I've mentioned it before, but I love how Phoenix just. He just picks up on people's quirks a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not only just that, like, you can bully him into kind of doing anything or saying things the way you want him to. Pretty sure he picked up a gumshoe's pal once or twice, too, hasn't he? I think so. I love it. I love him. <laughs> What's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. Okay, I'm gonna have to present something to him, which I don't have. Yeah, I don't imagine I do. I have my attorney's bag. No, yeah. Cool. What is that badge? Is it... Is it used in a disappearing act? Phoenix boy. I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. An attorney, then? Why are you wasting your time talking to me? He isn't wasting his time, Max. You're... Okay, okay. Relax, sweetie. You're just a little over-anxious, I think. Anyway, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? It's because you've been arrested for murder! Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest somebody like me. Why is that? Obviously, because I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica! No. I am the very big star of the very big circus. And that means? 
I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? Max. Quit joking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Steph, why? I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> the problem was I said it. I had to say that phrase with my physical mouth that had to actually come out of my mouth. I regret everything. <laughs> <laughs> the police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. Look at Max, he's crushed. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. This is serious business. Um, uh... Yes? The poor, I, I mean, sir, you're a, you're a lawyer, right? Uh, oh, oh yeah, I'm an attorney. Please, help me! I didn't kill nobody! Didn't uh, kill nobody? I may be more spoiled than a hog on a hamburger mud pit, but a killer? That's insane! I, I, I could never! Max? I swear, I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt. He's back on the farm. Okay, okay, I'll take your case. Really? Really? Oh, thank you so much. Y'all sure are nice folks. Um, Max? Yes? What's your real name? <laughs> God dang it. How drastically do I want to change his voice between his Billy Bob Johns? <laughs> I could really go kind of like this. Hey, Bill Bob John. <laughs> or I could go. Well, like... you're not going crazy on voice acting today, anyway. It's with your throat, so. <laughs> but how crazy do I want to change it for the future? I don't think it will come up too much, so. Well, it's Bill Bob Johns. Oh, you know, I'm gonna kind of give it like a like a like a Southern Bell accent instead. What's the matter, Maya? He's really just a country bumpkin, like Lada, the <laughs> worst of all people. <clears throat> <clears throat> I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Uh -huh. Mr. Attorney. Yeah. A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Now that he mentions it, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? But how did he... He got it right, again. What can I say? You too, you've stolen some of my most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galactic's hearts. You do have a lot of hearts, don't you? <laughs> I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? All right, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. <sighs> All right, let's go to the circus. <sighs> you sound so exasperated already. Depending on who we meet here first. I might die, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. We're here again. Yep, but this time we're here for work. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Let's go, let's find the himbo. Sounds like a plan. Let's find the himbo, let's find everyone. Himbo? Yeah. The himbo, the best himbo in the game. Detective Gumshoe? Ah, I see. I, I'm sorry, I was thinking of all the peop awful people we're gonna meet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am holding hope that Gumshoe will be here. 
It seems to be the dorm where all the performers in the circus will stay. Really? So we might run into that stoogie clown here, right? He's so kooky. Have you ever considered the fact that Maya's the real murderer that we're just really good at framing other people? She says it's a tiny bit each time and gets accused occasionally. We've not considered that yet, no. This is someone who knows who we are. I'm gonna assume this is Gumshoe. Ah! It's you two. <coughs> Yay! Yay! My it's the himbo! Oh, Detective Gumshoe! Hey, how do you two always seem to know where I'm working at crime scene, pal? Because you're always working, Detective. Well, I'd rather not be always working, but uh, with crime, you don't make your own hours. If I have to be at the circus anyways, I want to see the lion tamer and the tightrope. However, no matter where I go, the show's always the same. Dead body, stage left. Nick, Nick, he complained. <laughs> That's a rarity. Let's get back to business now, okay? You know who will be prosecutor in the court tomorrow? Of course, it will be Miss Von Karma. Uh, Goddamn that fucking bird. <laughs> I thought your voice acting was just your disgust at the audio cue. <laughs> no, I mean, the uh was actually for that, then I heard the bird, I'm like, that fucking bird. <laughs> oh, shit. She's gonna hit Your me for whipping. Favorite again. sound effect. <laughs> it's the worst thing in the world. I, this bird sound effect is legitimately my least favorite thing about this game so far. Apparently, I'm gonna have to see these characters. It's slowly becoming my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Solely because it's my least favorite. Yes. <laughs> she's she's gonna hit me for whipping again, is she? What do you have? To, what do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court. When she shows up at the precinct, the sound of that whip never ends, pal. Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure Miss Von Karma is really interesting and all, but there's someone else I'd rather talk about. Like who? Like Mr. Edgeworth, of course. You know, next to your rival, Miles Edgeworth. Man, I love that guy. What in the world happened? Happened after I went home? It's like he's never around. It's like he's dead or something. But Mr. Edgeworth, you. You haven't heard what happened to him. Rick won't tell me! Well, to be honest, I'm not a liability to tell you either. Let's just say he's, uh, not around anymore. Not around? Rick, why does he mean Mr. Edgeworth isn't around? Exactly what he said. He's not around. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? Yep, last night around 10 p.m. He died outside in the cold. Pretty sad way to go out if you ask me, pal. It was rather cold. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right on over there. Uh, right about where you're standing now, actually. Ah! <laughs> I surprised you, didn't I? I'm not laughing. <laughs> Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow into the noggin, pal. Yeep. It's pretty clear-cut as far as murders go. He was quickly discovered. But, uh... But? There's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Ha! Huh. There always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. Oh, uh, what was that one thing that didn't just quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier. Uh, footprints, pal. Footprints. Footprints? What's that? <laughs> Look at this picture of the crime scene. What's this? The wooden box under the body. No clue, pal. Some forensic experts took it back and are examining it now. <clears throat> and, and, what's so mysterious about the footprints? Whoa, calm down. Take a good look at the footprints in this picture. There's two of them. No? One, two... Okay, that one on the left side just looks weird, but it's one. All right. The, the victim footprints are on the scene. Excuse me. Oh, that's right, pal. The problem is... The killer footprints aren't there! Bingo. 
Where did the killer come from and where did the killer run off to? Where did the killer come from, Cotton Eye Joe? <laughs> Obviously, there's no way the killer committed this crime while flying. A flying... Oh. Oh, Max, what a narrative we reeve today. <laughs> oh, that's when something just clicked in my head. There is one person who can fly at this circus. There's no way! Flying is impossible! I've never seen anyone fly in my entire life! <laughs> That's right, flying is impossible! Absolutely impossible! <laughs> What's with the hollow laugh, pal? I, I meant nothing by it, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Better stated, it means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I could get some info about Max out of him. Let's present Max then. It looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the circus tent. You know what they say, bad attitude follows you everywhere. Hmm, he's a bit arrogant, but he didn't seem that bad. But just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal. It's not just his attitude, I got proof, pal. Huh? He left something at the scene of the crime. One of his magician's trademarks. An incredibly well-made silk hat. Oh, uh, it does have very classy decorative elements. It has a single peacock feather. Yes, very classy decorative element. It, it, okay. <laughs> we don't get much out in Karain. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Max uses a cloak, silk cat, and white roses as his signature symbols. Pretty mundane, aren't they? Who okay, cares if they're mundane? At least they're easy to understand. I must have hit her. Uh, that, that's what he said. Who said? Uh, the eyewitness. Oh? Huh? Oh my god. I have a bad feeling this eyewitness is someone. No, it can't be someone we know. It should. No, it's not someone we know. I'm getting really bad flash. Actually, so we're good. It's just a straight. Tell us about this oh. eye. <laughs> why did you do that, Diddy? Why? Tell us about this eye. What? What flashbacks did you get? I'm genuinely curious. I don't know. That's a thing. So I'm about this eyewitness. Oh, you know I'm not going to tell you about that. That's the prosecution's trump card. <sighs> oh, well. Oh, I just remembered. What? I forgot to mention that you two are barred from entering the lodging house. What? Why is that? Oh, no reason. Just uh, something I remember to tell you. Well, because that's where the eyewitness is. What? Oh. Let's check it out. Don't you dare, pal. Let's go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hate this. Oh no! Everything are you here. Flashbacks. Everything here just looks bad. Why are mm. there carrots on the right hand side? Just hung up on the wall. Let's we'll have to deal with some cloud. Why? Why did this dude kill Pluto and make shoes out of Pluto? These shoes right here, specifically. I'm pointing them to him on screen. Why? Why did he kill Pluto? He he legit just killed Pluto and made shoes out of his face twice. <sighs> I wonder whose room this is. The name tag on the door says Moen on it. Give me a. If only this was alcohol. Uh, <clears throat> you can't drink. You haven't even <laughs> met the guy yet. Yeah. I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's not here. Well, it's a real mess in here. My room's probably worse, though. Oh, well. I give up. We'll have to come back later. Oh, thank Christ. Okay, well... Why are these... God, this dude... 
All these clown costumes end up like that. I don't know it's about you, but it's creepy. <clears throat> Look at that collection he's got. It's incredible. Must be a collection of clown costumes from around the world. Oh, I almost forgot. What is it now? She better not want me to try one of those. I was thinking of starting a costume collection myself. I'll call it World Spirit Channels. We can display it in our office. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. In our office? As soon as you start paying the bills, you can say that. Well, has got an excellent pair of pajamas laid out on his bed in an excellent manner. What? Those are pajamas? You mean he goes to bed dressed as a clown? Ew. Awesome! Look at these shoes! They're great! Nick, I want these shoes! Ill. <laughs> Forget the shoes. Check out the great gag banana peel. You sure it wasn't Moe's snack after lunch? You blind. Look at how many scratches there are from people slipping on it. That's gonna be a key piece of evidence later, I could tell. Hee <laughs> Crab equipment is so funny looking. He's got a bouncing ball, a unicycle, he's even got a trampoline. But they're all broken. Maybe he was just a little too excited during practice? Who knows with that guy? Maybe that's part of the gag. What is it all about these carrots? <clears throat> what the? There's a string of carrots here! How strange, the carrots seem to come in all different shapes. Weird. Can't tell if Mo just likes carrots or if he's uh, using them for some sort of gag. All right. The circus stage sure doesn't sound. This sure doesn't look this small from out in the audience. Well, this is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults. I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Sure. <laughs> huh, Nick? <laughs> Wasn't me. Roar. Oh, shoot, it's an actual <laughs> tiger. <laughs> tiger! <laughs> he, he's coming this way. Roar. Ah! And so Phoenix Wright was eaten by a tiger. Rest in peace, everyone. Nick, you're too young to die. Nick! Stay, stay, heal. Sure. <laughs> I wasn't gonna imitate a tiger. I'm still here. I'm not dead yet. Nick, Nick, are you okay? Ah ha ha! <laughs> oh, wait. I think that's me. Oh. oh. <laughs> scared you, didn't I? Oh! Legend is such a cute tiger, isn't he? What's the matter? You two sure are quiet. I don't like But her. what's the matter with me? Look, we almost died there! Let's see, I want to give her a different Let's see. Gosh, he wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. This little tiger hardly ever bites people. Hardly ever. And besides, people normally never get to play with a wild tiger, right? If you think about it, you're actually really lucky. I, I know why I don't like her. I know why I don't like her. She looks too much like a doll. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. She looks too much like one of those porcelain dolls. Huh? You agree, don't you? I guess. <laughs> what do you mean you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Woohoo! Your costume! She's got a point, she doesn't got a hey. point. It's cute. I wanna try it on. There we go, that's a better one. There you go. Costume, you need my clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Uh I guess not. Really? <laughs> You're the best. Wow, the tables turned quickly on that one. So much for the tiger thing. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. 
Is your name Carol Baskins? <laughs> I don't know who Carol Baskins is. It's the Tiger King thing. Oh, I know now. I'm Regina Berry, the renowned animal tamer, tamer of the big of the Berry Big Circus. My name's Maya Fay. I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. You put us up next to an animal team, I bet we really look odd. Nice to meet ya. Uh, likewise. Hey, Regina, what do you know? What do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? Uh huh. My dad was murdered. Oh, I see. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What'd you just say? So, the ringmaster was your... Yep, the ringmaster was my dad. I I'm so sorry about what happened to him. Why do you say you're sorry? That's what I was thinking, KSG. Oh. That's exactly what I was thinking, KSG. Anyways, everyone here was practicing last night. Even your dad? Yes, everyone is here. We finished up around 10 p.m. <laughs> After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regin. Regin, so she was with that beast. That's when the police showed up. They took me to check things out. And they took, took me to check things out. Dad was dead. Excuse me. For someone whose father was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. I wish she would tell us more about her dad. That's incredible that you're an animal team. If you say so. That's be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regent isn't scary, he's cute. Ever since Leon died, Regent has been my best friend. Leon? Yes, Leon the Lion. Leon the Lion, Regent and Regina. Interesting name choices. Leon, who died? Yes, actually he was killed. My dad Smith's killed him. What? Crazy all fits together. <laughs> KSG, yep, I smell murder and she's crazy, all fits together. Why did you do that? I'm not sure why he did it. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. Let's present the profile of her dad. Can we do that? Yes, we can. After practice was over, Dad went right back to his room. His room? Yes. That door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Hmm. I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. The ringmaster's room. Probably a good idea to check it out myself. Oh, all right, let's check out the ringmaster's room. I think that will be probably the last thing we do to Um, it's about 10 o'clock now. Oh, he looks so proud of his daughter. This was the ringmaster's room? Yes, it's the room that belonged to the victim. Which means that this must be where Max met the ringmaster last night. Father, you mention it. This is, that is what he said. I wonder what? Hmm. That's an interesting poster. Ah, it's a poster of Max. I want it! I want it! <laughs> Nick, I want it! I want to get out of here. This is a totally not inconspicuous. It's it has a nothing to do with the murder. There's some papers that's got it on top. Ah, look at this! Max's salary is written on this piece of paper. <laughs> Yikes! What is it? I didn't know that magician. This salary is incredible. 
She looks like she's about ready to pass out from shock. How much is it? How much is it? That much? Incredible, huh? You can say that again. This must be the paper they used to negotiate Max's salary. Ringmaster signed and dated it. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got a raise. But this document is dated a week ago. Wait, I can look at it again? Ew, there's mud caked on the table. Someone with terrible manners has to put their shoes up on the table. Nick, don't even think about it. I wasn't. How uncouth do you think I am anyways? <clears throat> Nick, look at all the cute trophies. Indeed, just look at all the awards the circus has won. Like... All Country Quiz Champions, Big Masters Association, Mini Golf Master, Beer Belly Balloon Bounce Champ, Pet Grooming Grand Prix. Wow. Ringmaster was a multi-talented in ways I never could have imagined. That's just mildly uncomfortable. <laughs> There's a lot of posters here, don't you think? There are indeed. Are my posters up there? Likely to miss one, are they? <laughs> Maya, we're supposed to be the honest ones around here. But, but, you didn't even notice that I took one! Ah, she already swiped one. You're incorrigible, you know that. Look at all the stars on this poster. This must have been the poster they used to promote their public appearances. Posters are the way to go, aren't they? What do you mean? We should make posters to promote our law firm. What do you mean, our law firm? Mind-tingling legal action! Mind-numbing legalese! You will say wow! <laughs> or perhaps... Hold it! Don't miss out on a stunning life-or-death courtroom thrill ride! <laughs> if those taglines, our law firm would sink faster than the Titanic! Okay, so we saw all of that. You may not know this, but they call this a tailcoat! And they call this the face of someone who already knew that. Hmm. What? A scrap of white paper sticking out of the coat pocket. Huh? Where? Where? Calm down, Maya. You can't just go rummaging through people's coats. Oh, uh, those make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. You did just steal. I want to go rummaging through his coat. Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, want to, I want to find out what that scrap of white paper is. That feels very important now. Gonna head out, have fun. Okay, thank you very much, FNL. We'll probably be we'll probably be out in like a, a little bit of ourselves. This is where the ringmaster applied his makeup. It's quite a collection of the most understated colors. Shocking pink, for example. This one says it is 100% all natural organic mascara. And this one says sensitive enough for a baby, strong enough for a mime. <laughs> Ringmaster must have been really concerned about his skin care. Very metrosexual. See, I was I was actually talking about this with AJ a little while ago. When I was young, I just took care of myself. Like I showered, I did my hair, I wore cologne. And he's like, "Are you metrosexual?" And I'm like, "No, I just do basic hygiene." I mean, like metrosexual isn't really like anything it's not i'm like i'm like this is just is this a word to basically be like you take care of yourself and we're saying you don't take like anyways it's so fucking weird i don't get it like what is the hope it's nothing it's literally nothing this is strange everything else looks nice but this desk looks old and cheap there's a really big photo on the desk the picture of Regina and her father, the ringmaster. He really loved her, didn't he? Regina was lucky to have such a wonderful father. Until she murdered him.
Okay, I'll see. I'm gonna check the horrible room one more time before we head out. Okay, so I I probably have to find something else in here that will lead to the next thing. That lead to the next thing. Okay. So I think for now we're gonna keep it here, and I think we're gonna end it off here. I'm gonna save it real quick. Uh, thank you guys very much for hanging out with us. I had a blast with this game, and. We're probably going to meet some characters real soon. Mm. Got it, all the good ones out of the way. <laughs> got all the good ones out of the way. That's terrifying. Because I don't want to deal with this clown. I don't want to deal with this clown. Yeah. You can just end it there. Yeah, all right, all right. Uh, guys, we finished all of Ace Attorney. <sighs> We beat Ace Attorney, we have... No, we can uh, just fast-forward straight to the end of this case. Or, <laughs> no, so we have to make an important pit stop in this case, and then we can fast-forward to the end of it. Then we can fast -forward. Okay, fantastic. All right. Uh, I think... A, Go on. There's a few things in this case that are good. It's just a lot of it is terrible. It's a lot of it is terrible. All right. Let me see who we could actually raid today. Um... No, we haven't raided. I don't think we've raided Mighty Mouse yet. Let's raid Mighty Mouse. Say hi to Mighty Mouse. Ah, uh, words. If you need our raid message, oh god, I am horrible at this. Raid at Mighty. All right, guys, if you uh, had fun, make sure to leave a follow. We're here to vibe, enjoy ourselves, and we are four away from 800, which means another 12-hour stream coming at 800 followers, and I'm really excited, so I'm hoping you guys are too. A big thank you, of course, to AJ for being an amazing emo artist and one of the best supporters here. Hey, Joe, thank you very much for those five youth subs. I can't thank you enough. Katie, as always, thank you very much for joining in with me, and thank you for your gift. Uh, thank you for your Prime sub as well. It was extremely uh, generous. Thank you very much. And I always enjoy hanging out with you, so I really do hope you're enjoying your time here with us. Um, other than that, I think that's about it on my end. Anything for you to say, Katie? Uh, nope, just hope to see y'all next time. Yeah. Yeah. If plans go, if, if everything goes according to plan, hopefully next week we'll be back <laughs> with some more Phoenix Wright Justice for All. Y'all stay safe and stay bought and it's cool. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.